The fallout from Smith's slap was expected, but many of us weren't sure what the disciplinary action would be. For a closer look, we welcome Variety's senior awards editor, Clayton Davis. Clayton, thank you so much for joining us. Smith is banned from the Oscars and all other Academy events for the next decade. Was this punishment expected or harsher? Uh, it is a little harsher than what we were expecting. We were expecting somewhere in the vicinity of maybe five years uh, to be banned from the Oscar ceremony. The, the, the problem was once Will Smith resigned from the Academy a week ago, that left little recourse for the Academy to take against them. They couldn't financially sanction them. They couldn't uh, do anything they would normally do to any other member. So he's no longer a member. So now banning him for 10 years does seem to be, since that was the only thing they could do, I think they went a little larger than previously uh, expected that we thought they would. So Smith stars in an upcoming $100 million drama for Apple, Emancipation, a film that has been already touted as a possible awards contender. At this point, can he be nominated for an Oscar again? He can be nominated. He can win an Oscar over the next decade. The, the, the membership only precludes him from it from going to to the Academy Awards, voting in uh, voting for nominees or potential winners, and getting access to screeners. But he's also a member of various other guilds, so he, that obviously is not important. Him resigning ensured that he wouldn't be among just the five people that have been expelled from the Academy in ninety four years. So, and that would have been a tough crowd to actually be a part of. That includes Harvey Weinstein, Roman Polanski, and Bill Cosby. So him resigning uh, freed him from that. But yes, he can still be nominated, he can still win. Emancipation is the next big project coming from Apple who won Best Picture on the same night he slapped somebody. And you mentioned those other uh, individuals who have been expelled uh, from the Academy. There has been debate surrounding the Academy's handling of Smith versus the handling of director Roman Polanski, who won Best Director in 2003, but couldn't attend the ceremony because he fled the U.S. in 1978 following a rape charge. This situation clearly different from Smith's, but the Academy eventually expelled Polanski. It took them years. But why do you think the Academy acted so so quickly in Smith's case? Well, there, there's a consistency elephant in the room that the Academy is going to have to address. And they probably think that this absolves them from any further scrutiny. But Roman Polanski, you know, you say that he was uh, a rape charge. He was convicted of underage sex with a minor, pled guilty and was awaiting sentencing and fled the U.S. and is still a fugitive till this day. If he were to come back into the U.S., assuming he wouldn't get arrested, he could go to the Academy Awards as a plus one. If Harvey Weinstein got released from jail today, he can go to the Academy Awards as someone's plus one, but Will Smith can't. And I think that's the consistency they need to start uh, building and, and get everyone on the same page. What Will Smith did was horrible, and everyone feels that there needed to be some actions, but we have to make sure that that's felt across the board and everyone is open to those same types of uh, results and qualifications. Oh, so unfortunate that this had to happen. All right, Clayton Davis for us. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.